Do you realize we just built you a lightning rod for your truck? Um, you know what? It worked already. That time and Sean, yeah, we got struck. Is your wife okay with that? No, she's still, she's got a problem. What if it goes backwards? This project is two years in the making, and today is the first time all of it comes together. After several prototypes and operating systems, it is finally ready for its maiden storm chasing season. And as much as I hate to admit, I had to call in the engineers for help. This is a highly over-engineered and overbuilt project weighing in at 100 pounds. We have Derek the mechanical engineer, Keith the electrical engineer, Jonathan the graphics guy, and myself the contractor. We've used terms like CAN bus, turbulent flow, laminar flow, free stream, slip stream, rolling average, center justified, maximum boundary shear stress, mechanical advantage, vector math, flow parameters, flow velocity, downstream key, and so on. Most importantly, this has to work and work right. In the heat of the chase, Val and Amy cannot be distracted by multi-step processes or failures. Simplicity and redundancy are the constraints we worked within. And to be clear, no engineers were harmed in the making of this project. Uh, what we call mop-up work out here. Back to you, Justin. Yeah, great report there, Val. Is that, again, he was just reporting a couple hot spots, but that's, that's about it. And he also mentioned, uh, you can see on his shot, not much wind. The smoke is literally lifting almost straight up, and that'll be the case hey, here the rest of the evening. They came up to us and asked us a while ago, when I first pulled up up there, he said, what's the current wind? That's what we you need just to said know. to me, and I was just like, so, kind of blew me they gotta know which way the wind's going. They gotta know which way it's, it's fixing to go and change. So it, it helps them to know that. Today is a special day because for the first time, we are going to be able to get live wind speed. And th here's the best part, Jude. It's gonna be on Channel 9 Live. You're gonna see down in the corner of the screen, you're gonna see wind as it's happening and wind gust as it's happening. As far as I know, Audio Buff is going to be the first one to really do that in a chase vehicle. Let's put the wind up here. This is on Valcaster's truck. Wind, uh, 22, 23, gust to 46 here in the last uh, minute. So this is a type of project where we like to think out of the box, but we had to build the box before we could start to think outside the box. So for the last month or so, Val and Amy have been running with the new anemometer, and today we're putting the final touches on the graphic overlay. So you're gonna be able to see their wind speeds and gust speeds live on your TV as it happens. David, we just had a wind gust of 51, 51 miles an hour, and, and that's uh, we are headed north right now, right on Highway 74, 
uh, just north of it looks like 192nd, and we've we've been off and on. This wind is cranking mainly from the west and southwest. Today we're implementing the final piece of technology for the Snoop project. For two years we've been working with Val and Amy on this special anemometer project. Not only can they view wind speeds and gust speeds while they're sitting still, but now they can view it accurately while they're driving. And then on top of that, they have the ability to send that information back to Channel 9 live to give them more information on what's going on in the field. Oh, hey, there it's it up is. There. Awesome. Hey, and it looks centered too. Yep, we redid well, the numbers. So what then. happens if it goes to, to 100? Like, I didn't test it with 100. So we bring the uh, on screen overlay on and off. Downstream key one mix. And you can still use the switcher. Audio Buff has created a way for Amy and I to measure wind speeds accurately from our chase truck. And not only that, you're going to be able to see it live on Channel 9 as it's happening. David, it's crossing right now. We got roof cam pointed to the east. I just got off on council. I can see the big uh, lowered area. If you look at our anemometer, we just measured a 37. And before I pulled north, it looked like it was trying to get stronger.